Hey guys and welcome into the Roxy Report. Okay, so today's video is going to be slightly saucy. <laughs> it's a good word for it. This is a video that I've been wanting to make for a while. It's something that I've wanted to talk to you guys about because it's part of my life. It's something that I'm hoping can help you. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, because today's video, I've asked permission from Chris to be able to talk about this, and I need to get some things off my chest in terms of misconceptions and tips and other stuff that I've been holding back because I wanted to make this video. And so yeah, it's very hot today, so if you can hear a fan rumbling away or there's, there's air hitting the microphone, I'm sorry, but... I have my hair up. It's so hot. It's really, really bad today. Um, so yeah. So, first things first. The misconceptions about trans women being gay. I don't know where this spawned from or who thought this was a good idea. But no. Trans women are not gay men. I, I think that a lot of people think that if you become a trans woman, then you must have been a gay male. And that's not the case at all. Yes, some cases, someone, uh, before transition, they will be gay, they will fancy a, a, a man, and then they transition and still date men. But, in some aspects, that can be changed, that can be opposite. So, they can be dating men as a male, and then date a female as trans. It gets confusing, but you know what I mean. So, it's the, the whole misconception about... Trans um, women before transitioning being gay is, is complete crap, and unfortunately it's a stigma that is stuck with the trans community, and it's something that I'm hoping that we can kind of talk about today. Um, but I wanted to talk about, and I've asked his permission, about Chris, and it's something that I never thought would happen, because I personally grew up fancying women. I was a straight male. I'm going to keep using inverted commas, otherwise I'm going to have people commenting me like, but you're not male! I know. <laughs> but I have to do this so they know, okay? Um, so, I, I'm very open. If you haven't noticed already, I'm very open. I like to talk about it, and I don't care about talking about my past. I'm open. I want to educate people, and I want to let out people... I want to try and help people understand where... I lie in transition and where I stand on my outlook and my views and that's something that's very important to me and it's something that I'm hoping I can enlighten you today if you're new to the trans community or you're well, or you're new to the um, LGBT community, hi, um, just know that this video may help you so share it with all your friends. Uh, up until this point there's been nothing useful. Uh, <laughs> so I started out as a straight male um, and I fancied women. Uh, that slowly changed as I came out. I kind of was thinking maybe I should try and uh, experiment. That never really happened until I started taking hormones. I broke up with Maddie going back to 2012, and I was oh, I was on the I was on the the OK Cupid conveyor belt, and I was like. Maybe I should try looking for men. Maybe I should try dating a man and see what happens. And uh, I did go on a couple of dates with males. And um, they were okay, um, I suppose. Uh, one guy was uh, lovely and then turned out that he was like, oh, no, I'm actually gay now. And then he came out and he was like, oh, no, I'm straight now. And I couldn't keep up. <laughs> um, so that was that was an interesting experience. There was a, another guy that I went to his house, and um, uh, he had adult diapers. Um, <laughs> I'm not mentioning any names, because I don't know if they're watching, but that was an experience. I stayed in their house for about a week. Very far from home. Uh, it was an experience. Um, so that kind of put me off for a while. <laughs> I continued dating women. And it was when I was on estrogen that my uh, outlook and my uh, sexual desires started to alter. And I started to get attracted to guys on TV and in movies. And uh, and Ewan McGregor, <sighs> hot damn, I watched Moulin Rouge and I just fell in love with him. He's amazing and I love him. Uh, if you're watching this, Ewan McGregor, I love you dump your wife, get with me. So, 
<laughs> I don't know. Um, so, yeah, that kind of changed with all of that. And um, I had a lull period of about three years where I didn't date anyone. Uh, I was single for about three years. And uh, I've already talked about the situation I was in where I started to fancy a guy and he wasn't interested. And I think that was the first time that I ever really kind of started to fall for a guy. Um, and of course it wasn't recuperated to the other end, but it was, it was the first time that my emotions and my hormones took over and I felt like that was the be all or end all. And I think that was the first time that I noticed that my mind was different and that my feelings were different. And, um, that was all due to the hormones. I got very hormonal. I was, I was, I had way too much estrogen in my body. I didn't have any, barely any testosterone. So I was pretty much a pregnant woman at this point. Uh, so that all changed when I, when I, I finally started dating Chris. And, uh, Chris has been amazing in terms of how open and caring and kind he is and how he's made me feel I've never felt as feminine as I have with anyone. He makes me feel 100% female, and that is incredibly important. Um, in terms of the more crude stuff, uh, penis. Uh, does that get in the way of me and Chris's relationship? I feel like sometimes it does. Um, I hate having it. And it's something in sex where I'm like, I don't want to have this if me and Chris are having having sexual relations. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. <laughs> Miss Lewinsky, sorry, I just, I just went to uh, <laughs> the President of the United States. I don't know what happened there. Um, I, <laughs> I... I feel if we're having sexual intercourse if we're messing about I I feel if he's on top of me and we're making out and everything else I feel like I should have a vagina and it's so fur infuriating for me because I feel like I can do it but I can't because there's something in the way it's it's blocking me in my mind, for those couple of minutes, I can imagine that I have one. And I think this is the biggest thing. I don't... The thing is, I'm not... I'm not... As a trans person, I'm not very affected by my genitals. Some trans people can't even look in the mirror. And that is fair enough. But personally, it's never really been an issue. It's there. I won it off. I won a vagina. That's the end of the day, you know? But the only time it's ever been an issue for me is when I've been trying to go out with skimpy clothes on, and of course it's been the bulge, the, the, the attack of the bulge, or I'm trying to have sex. And I don't know if he knows that. I think I've told him before that it kind of, I don't feel very comfortable. I, I, I just want to be able to just get it, get it gone and and have normal sex. So... In terms of sex, um, as someone who's pre, um, pre-surgery, uh, I, um, uh, uh, blowjobs are, are a thing. Um, I, sorry, it's hard to talk about. It's very weird to talk about this. Um, and that, that's a great way of being able to satisfy each other. There you go. That's... <laughs> I hope you are eating while watching this video. Uh, <laughs> but no butt stuff. Um, personally, I don't. I just don't really want that, and neither does he. So that's not really a thing. Um, but I think we make up for it in terms of just how close we are and how. Um, I think the, the the nicest thing is just being able to be in a corridor and him just, like, slam me up against the wall and just start making out. It's really nice. Uh, I get incredibly turned on with that kind of thing. So, <laughs> basically, watch the movie Fifty Shades of Grey and you'll kind of get the image. Um, I, in terms of 
in terms of when I have uh, the surgery, um, I'll be a lot happier. I think right now I'm not feeling too happy in sexual acts because, of course, I'm not able to fully be myself. I'm not able to fully grab onto what will make me me. It's like there's I'm I'm so close but yet so far. And it's a pain in the ass. But in terms of dating a man, if you're wanting to date a male, there are men out there who are accepting and just don't care. And just see you for you. And Chris has proved that to me. And I'm so grateful that I have him. Um, I can't tell you enough how happy I am that we are together. And that I've been able to find someone that's so on the same level as me, someone who plays video games, someone who talks about the same stuff, someone who watches the same stuff, even though he doesn't like Star Trek, which is uh, possibly a turn-off. Um, <laughs> I'm never going to let that go. Uh, but yeah, it's something that, uh, it's quite interesting. I, I, I just wanted to talk about it today, and if this video has been vulgar or too much information, then you shouldn't have watched. I did warn you at the start, but that's where I stand on the transgendered sex in terms of my personal experience. Um, that's just how I am. And I'm hoping that it kind of gives you an impression. Um, I think uh, there are different sects of trans women some trans women will keep their genitals some trans women won't uh which is me um and some don't really want to talk about it at all and that's obviously fair enough i'm very open i'm very just i just they just blur it out whatever i think of <laughs> see like bill clinton i just had that pop into my head earlier see it's just whatever's on my head you know whatever's on my mind um <laughs> just, just just there um, anyway, I hope you guys found this somewhat useful. If not, then go away. If you did, though, comment down below and tell me. I'm so sorry for this video, but it's something that I'm wanting to talk about. It's something that may help others. And if you're around the same age as me, or younger, or starting to date people, this might be able to help you. Just be yourself, and just just know that there are people out there who will accept you for you, and it's not the end of the world if you can't find them immediately, because they will come up. They will appear, and they will be amazing. So, thanks for watching, but until next time, that's me. Out. Bye, guys.